Hello all, Michael Heck here with the make blog or vlog for the Hyperactive Hypercube. It's been a couple days. I've done two railroad crossings for my son and a few things for myself on the Hyperactive. Uh, it is going fairly well. There's a few things that are going to be changing in the near future. I have been able to secure a wham bam build plate for the hyperactive and it's going to be interesting mounting it. I need to figure out how to get it so that it actually mounts up correctly and that I can still get to my screws and things to that effect. Uh, right now I am three quarters of the way done with my Mandalorian helmet. It fits pretty well. I think I made it a little bit too wide, but I was just concerned about the parts on the side here. And you'll notice I have a stripe here. That's because I started with my 3D Salutech Silver as the material that I was going to use for that side. But there's not much left of it on the spool, as you can see. And I was worried about it ending up running out. So I switched over to the Tech Bears black. And there was a lot more of this, even after it was done, than is here. I've done several other prints with it, including things that are parts now of the hyperactive and parts of my son's railroad crossings and other uh, items that have made him. Uh, my next big project is going to be the van bracers. Uh, my idea is that the maker that I am for the Mandalorians is someone who actually was able to uh, successfully take on an Ecle, which is that thing in episode two, three, two. One of the things that was in the arena that took on uh, Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Padme, it's that big shellfish looking thing with the big spiny hat, uh, copperus. Uh, aside from that, I'm going to be printing out the final Fourth of my helmet tonight. That's what's currently on the printer. I'm using Tech Bear's gray as the item or as the filament. Um, I've done a few other things around here for that, and then I'm going to start working on other props. The pistol for my character, potentially some type of tool belt like tools that would be the uh, forging tools that were used in the Mandalorian season one, episode three, I think, where you see her actually building him the entire set of armor. Uh, aside from that, not entirely sure where I'm going to go next. Probably chest plates, legs, shins, that type of thing. That might turn into being EVA foam, it might become Sinestra. I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm still working through that. Uh, I've designed a jet pack for myself in Tinkercad. And I'm probably going to use it for both myself and for my friend that I've created some stuff for. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be able to be approved by the Razor Crest clan, which is the group of folks that are doing Mandalorian cosplay at cons and things like that. If it can't, I'll find something else I can use for the backpack or jetpack or just not wear it when I'm with them. Uh, but I'm enjoying myself so far, and I hope you're enjoying following along. Um, I still need to make myself my second bracer, van bracer. And I need to finish the item that my daughter asked me for, the Venom Mask. I've got the neck pieces all uh, printed out, and then I have to print out the jaw pieces. I don't think I'm going to do the tongue. 
because it's just a long weird piece and I don't know if it's gonna fit on her even with just the jaw pieces I gotta get it all glued together I'm using a uh, two-part epoxy for my gluing just the Loctite epoxy and I'm using my uh, my clamps workshop clamps to keep things together for at least five minutes until the epoxy sets to a point where I can let it just sit and, and harden. Once I get done with that, the next step is going to be, once the helmet's done, next step is going to be sanding and using Mod Podge or a two-part resin to fill in parts that, sh that may have a little bit uh, of under extrusion or that vibration line that I showed you a few uh, episodes ago. And then from there, I'll go through and resand, and then we'll start painting. And I'm still trying to come up with a color palette for painting. Uh, it's looking like it might be maroon, blue, and green, but I'm still muddling through that. Uh, as always, if you have questions or comments, uh, please put them in the comments below hit that subscribe. If you know me on Facebook, go ahead and uh, shoot me a message on Facebook if you have questions. I'm always willing to take a look at things that people want to work on and see if there's any way I can help them. And I'm sorry I keep on looking back at the hyperactive because I am in the middle of printing that or I've just started printing that final quarter of my helmet and I want to make sure it doesn't mess up because it would be really fantastic to have that done by the end of this weekend. As always, stay safe and stay healthy, and we will talk with you all later. Hope that you have a great day.